welcome to this video. Today we're going to show you how we built a powerful RAG knowledge agent that seamlessly integrates Slack, Google Drive, Pinecone, a vector database, and ChatGPT. This agent is designed to intelligently answer user queries by pulling relevant questions from a designated Slack channel, retrieving corresponding video scripts from Pinecone's vector database, and using ChatGPT to generate contextual responses based on a tailored prompt. Let's take a look at how it works with a real example. We start with a collection of PDF documents. These include video transcripts and their corresponding YouTube links. We upload these files to Google Drive, where a Cycler integration workflow picks them up. Using OCR technology powered by Mistral AI, the content is extracted and converted into Markdown format. From there, it's inserted into Pinecone as vectors. Now, imagine a user posts a question in the Video Knowledge Agent Slack channel like, I would like to know how to set up the Oracle NetSuite connector. The Knowledge Agent processes the request, searches the Pinecone vector database, and returns the most relevant video and chapter along with a clear, detailed explanation. Let's try another example. Can you give me an example of the utility connector? Switch. Once again, the agent gets to work, finds the matching content, and suggest the exact chapter that covers the topic. Pretty cool, right? And here's the best part. You can build this entire RAG knowledge agent with zero coding using our Cycler platform. Let's build it together. Before building the integration workflow, let's first set up the foundation in Pinecone. To start, generate an API key by navigating to the API key section in your Pinecone dashboard. Next, go to the indexes page and create a new index named videos. For the embedding model, we'll use Llama Text Embed V2, which leverages the Inference API, use the default configuration settings, and then click Create Index to complete the setup. Next, we are going to install the Pinecone connector. Cycler has already handled the heavy lifting by simplifying authentication protocols and converting most of Pinecone's API endpoints into ready-to-use methods. So these methods can be used directly within our low-code workflow development platform. To get started, simply enter the API key you generated in the previous step. If you'd like a more detailed step-by-step -step installation guide, feel free to check out the connector library documentation for full instructions. After installation, open the Pinecone connector. Under the index category, create a custom object category that aligns with the index configuration you've set up in Pinecone. Just like with all other connectors, this highlights one of the key strengths of the Cycler platform. It's simple to configure and easily adaptable to match the configuration of third-party applications. Now let's build our first integration template to insert PDF data from Google Drive into Pinecone. The Google Drive standard connector is available in the Cycler connector library, and we'll use its built-in API methods to load PDF documents from a specific folder and download them into Cycler. Next, using OCR technology, we'll convert the text inside those PDFs into Markdown format, making it ready for injection into the Pinecone database. For this, we're using a lightweight OCR tool developed by Mistral AI. Sound familiar? It should. This part of the integration was covered in previous episode, where we explored the AI-powered document assistant. You can watch the full walkthrough on our YouTube channel. The link is provided below. To save time, we'll replicate the first part of that integration by importing a JSON file. Then we'll add a decision step to check whether the markdown content exists, helping us validate the workflow before proceeding. Once confirmed, we add the upsert text method to insert the data into Pinecone. The data mapping is straightforward. We assign the record ID to the PDF file name and map the extracted text to the markdown field. After that, just run the workflow once to test it. You can then schedule it to run every hour, half day, or whatever interval fits your needs. When you check your Pinecone data, you'll see that all the PDFs from your Google Drive have been successfully uploaded into the database. Alternatively, if you prefer not to use the Inference API and would rather generate your own vectors using a different embedding model, such as OpenAI's Text Embedding 3 Small, you can easily do so. Just integrate ChatGPT using the standard connector then use the insert vector method available in the Pinecone connector to follow a similar process. For the second part of the integration, we'll connect with Slack using it as the interface for our chatbot. We'll begin by capturing messages using the webhook method provided by the Slack connector in Cycler. From there, we use the getUser method to extract user information. 
allowing us to determine whether the message was sent by a bot or a real user. If it's a valid user message, we immediately send a quick confirmation reply to acknowledge receipt. This part of the integration is fully explained in previous episode, Building a Slack AI Knowledge Assistant. It walks you through the entire setup process using the Slack connector. If you're building this from scratch, we highly recommend watching that video and following the steps provided. Once we've captured the message content, we add the search text by inputs method to the workflow. The input for this search comes from the message text posted in the Slack channel, which represents the user's question. We configure the method to return three similar records, meaning we'll retrieve three contextually relevant pieces of information from the PDF documents stored in Pinecone. Next, we combine the original question with the retrieved content and then pass this to ChatGPT, which is prompted to generate a concise response. For example, limited to 250 words and include two related video links pulled from the associated documents. Finally, we use the standard Slack connector method to send the response back to the user in the same channel. And that's it. With just a few configurations, you've successfully built a RAG integrated knowledge agent that works seamlessly with Slack and Pinecone. In conclusion, this integration workflow can easily be adapted to a wide range of use cases. For example, you could build an HR agent to help sort and analyze resumes, or an education agent to search school catalogs and provide quick answers to student inquiries. With Cycler's low code platform, you can focus on building your own custom use case quickly and without the hassle of complex IT setup. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.